So Nathan, firstly, welcome to the club. Uh, we'll talk about the, the game first. Uh, what were your thoughts on the performance? Um, it was a, a battling performance. I think uh, they were on top at key points in the game. Um, you think you've seen it, there was a little bit of uh, uh, discrepancy with the goal. Well, should it have been a goal, should it not? Um, obviously, the referees overturned him. They're key points in the game and I think with Mask, they've got a very experienced side and I think their experience shown today. Every single ball that was put in behind was put in behind with a purpose. Um, they give us defenders a lot to do and like I said, when they need to clear these lines, they did it They did it, you know, with purpose and you know, for us, <clears throat> it just shows we, we can battle there but we you know, just fine margins. With, um, with our side and our performance uh, going forward, was it pleasing for yourself watching uh, watching from the bench in the first and second half? Um, listen, I think, <laughs> of course, I would have wanted to come in and make an immediate impact. But, you know, I spoke with the gaffer the other day and it's, I've been training and it's clear to see that the, the squad's got a lot of talent and I wouldn't ex ever expect to come in and walk straight into a team. Um, I want to have the respect of the players first and the gaffer and then hopefully find myself in. And, you know, once I get in the team, I, I want to be staying in it. Obviously, coming off the bench, uh, what was that like? Um, yeah, it was, it was good. I, I just hope I wanted to go on and make an impact. I think we still got two goals in the game there's always a chance to go in and, and nick in one and you know I just wanted to come on make an impact and show show everyone what I'm about really what do you think you how do you think you uh, performed um I, I thought I played I felt played all right there's you know it's it's always tough to come into a game you, you've been on the bench you try to do your best to warm up and then bang you, you know you're straight into it but you know part of my game is trying to break you know break my break my balls to get into the box and you know capitalize on them chances that we had but um, like I said, I, I think the team, <coughs> you know, like I said, we, we showed that we can compete. You know, there's a lot of football left to be played, and hopefully, you know, I can add to what is already a very, very strong group. Let's talk more on the move. Uh, how does it feel to sign for Works Up Town? Um, do you know what it is? It's, it's a club that stinks of ambition. Um, you know, when I moved back from Manchester uh, to Leeds, and you know, Craig has spoken to me before, but I just needed to get, you know, to get set and. I should have done my due diligence a little bit more to be fair because I've not played at this club in you know about seven years I've, I played here with Frickley and <clears throat> came back and it's just changed completely and you know it, you, you come in and, and you know the gaffer has really um, really bigged it up and you know it, you can see it when you're here how, how professionally it's run um, you know it's sad to, sad to leave us it's a great club it's got a lot of really good people there but you know this was a really really exciting move for me and I'm happy to be a part of it. Paz mentioned as soon as you became available, he straight wanted you and got you in. What was the conversation like with Paz? Yeah, I mean, I, I worked with Craig uh, at the football family. Um, and when I was coming back to Leeds, I tried to sign it before, but uh, you know, the, the chairman also wanted to show my respect to him. And where, whichever club I'm at, I want to give 110. Um, percent But when when the mood broke down, there was only club, there was only one place that I wanted to be at, and this was here. You know, I, I know Craig um, on a personal level, probably more so than any manager that you would have in non-league. See him twice a week. I see Craig every day, and you know, I, I really, really like the way that you know he sets his team up. Um, it was clear to see in there his passion, and I think it resonates onto the lads. And hopefully, we've shown that today. With um, Paz's <coughs> style as well, surely that will benefit you as sort of that box-to-box -box advanced midfielder. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got some, we've got some great play, uh, players in here. You know, I thrive off balls into the box. You know, we've got ball players in there like Cody. I think he's a terrific player. You know, for a young lad, I came training the other day and he's really, you know, really put a good impression on us. You know, he gets it, he gives it. So I'm really looking forward to uh, try to form a partnership with him. Uh, but yeah, mate, we, you know, <coughs> like I said, we, we, we're shown today. We're a team with a lot of. Uh, a lot of ambition and a lot of uh, capabilities to go in and hurt teams. They're a, they're a really, really good team. You know, I play against Mask a, a couple of times over the years, and they're a strong team. And you know, we're showing that we could compete with them today. You mentioned Cody, but obviously, it, overall in that midfield, uh, there's Jack Broadhead who's 25. Yeah. Uh, Cody's 24. Uh, Jacksy, uh, uh, Luke Hall's a young lad as well. How can your experience sort of shape them to not only become better in themselves, but with our ambitions to getting into the next league, help them progress as well. Yeah, listen, absolutely. I, I thrived off of players, uh, you know, like Michael Coulson, Jimmy Beadle at Scarborough. You know, they were really able to put their arm around me, and hopefully, I can do the exact same for for the young lads that we've got here. Like I said, we've got tons of talent. For Alex, is a great strike as well. I've just had a little mention with him in the dressing room about getting it and giving it instead of taking two or three, four touches. But like I said, mate, I want to come in and hopefully use my experience to to bring out the best in other lads. And you know, I'm, I'm very, very vocal on the pitch. <coughs> Very vocal on the pitch, and you know, hopefully, I can um, <laughs> pass it on to uh, the rest of the lads. Before we start listening to you and in, in the play you dog. Here. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got nine games now, another uh, a cup final as well. 
Uh, what are your ambitions going into the final moments of the season? Listen, there's a lot of games left to be played. There's a lot of twists and turns. You know, in this league, you've got to fight for every single point. There's other teams which just slipped up today. We're really getting to the crunch time now. And like I said, I see absolutely no reason why we can't break into them playoffs. You know, playoffs are all about one-off games. And I think we've got more than enough in this squad already to really go and, and, and form a big playoff push. But, you know, if not... Craig's been very um, vocal about you know next year, his plans for next year, and, and where the club wants to go. And um, I really, really believe that you know with him in charge and you know the, the board and everyone that's uh, been so welcoming to me, I think we've really got a good chance, if not this year, then certainly next year.